We left Poland with some delay. At 6.30 a.m. I called the guys to say that I have to delay the start because my bike wouldn't start. The battery is probably dead because Moto hasn't been driven for two weeks and I haven't charged the battery for three years. I connected the rectifier clamps, made sure everything was well packed and attached, then went home for a coffee. And one more. An hour and a half and the problem was solved. I confirmed by phone that I was leaving and after another hour and a half of driving, we met at the agreed point on the route. From there, we smoothly drove to the south of Poland, crossed the border and drove to the south of the Czech Republic, to the campsite in Podskali. The night was very cold at the end of July. We got only plus eight and even the rising sun could not warm us, especially since our tents were pitched in the deep shade. A few words about camping expensive and crowded, but they have cold beer, which you can pay for with a payment card, unlike camping fees. Cash only. There are numerous and clean toilets, cleaned on an ongoing basis. If it weren't for the prices in Austria or Germany, the campsite would be recommendable. From the Czech Republic, we entered Austria and took side roads, completely side roads, sometimes even through backyards, between buildings, towards Salzburg. Behind Salzburg, we stopped at the beautiful Alweglehen campsite. We paid 25 euro for a motorbike person tent, set up your accommodations, and quickly went around the area to a famous scenic route. Oh. Speaking of Salzburg, right next to it, about 30 kilometers to the south, there are Obersalzburg, Berchtesgaden, Berghof. The next goals of our visit to this area. For those who are not yet familiar with these places, a short historical outline straight from Wikipedia. The Berghof was Hitler's home and official residence from 1936 to 1945. The Berghof is located on the slopes of the Obersalzberg in the Salzburg Alps near Berchtesgaden in Germany. Next to the Wolfschanze, it was the Berghof that was the place where the AH spent the most time during World War II, a total of 387 days. Even though the Berghof was never considered a headquarter. This place was completely razed to the ground at the end of World War II. The military buildings were demolished and the area was given back to Nechuri. The only landmarks in the area of the former headquarters are information boards placed in the forest. Walking was not the purpose of the trip. The goal for the day was to drive around Rossfeld Panorama Strasse. However, being right next to the Center for Science, Memory and Debates related to National Socialism, we tried to enter this center, but the crowds there effectively discouraged us from doing so. We only drove through the parking next to the museum and headed to Obersalzburg, where the entrance to Rossfeld Panorama Strasse is located. The entry fee is 5 euro, and for those who visit the mountains occasionally, it is worth paying this amount for the opportunity to ride a motorcycle on this road. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we 
He has got that view from his house. There were no trees at his time. Let's drive to the end and back. It gives us two rides on same road. When some problems occur on the exit, we're going to ride third time same road. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon, side by side and through and through, no limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight, found what we're looking for in life. Crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times, you and I can weather any. We returned to the campsite to cook a second dinner from our supplies. For food, we made pasta with canned meat and some sauce on three gas burners. One of the very important matters that had a huge impact on our further journey was the enormous amount of salt that Piotr served with the pasta. Camille and I immediately decided that Piotr's authority over pasta would be taken away and he was appointed Master of Pan. Camille won the honorable title of sauce master. I reduced the amount of salt added to the pasta by 80%. After dinner, we went to the camping bar for a few local vispiers. <laughs> 